In case you missed it, last time we built a vibration dampening platen. Ooh. Next up, we gotta build some sort of work table. <laughs> I wanna incorporate the cast iron surface plate. We'll get more into why I wanna use this later, but this will actually be the working surface. I want some sort of height control slash in and out motion. If this thing were to explode at 70 miles per hour, it's gonna be right in my, you know. But, so we need a guard, we need some adjustability, we need to utilize the slot. So let's do that now, let's build a working table. Here's how it's gonna bolt on. This little uh, tongue right here is gonna slip inside this groove. And it is going to be held in with some nuts, washers, and a big plate. And it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this assembly slide into this slot and that will adjust the in and out motion on the platen table. The next thing is because this plate is the structure, literally, it's going to be riding on the inside of this frame. So we made a little roller out of a ball bearing and that gets fastened right here so this corner will take up the friction of this plate sliding up and down we're going to copy the same thing we just did on our motor mount man it just works so slick and we'll have a hand screw inside here and you can adjust the leveling or the tilt of this plate that we're going to be using right here this is the same plates I use on my welding table. This is cast iron, which is going to wear really, really well. I also have some plans to modify this plate for this project. We're going to cut it out and we're going to put a slot in it for another cool feature. And then after we do that, we'll have to fabricate an adjusting rod to be able to calibrate the in and out motion as it slides in and down this slot. So let's do that now.
It's been a journey to get here, but I think we accomplished what I was trying to achieve. Here's what we got. We got a big monster table, <laughs> but it's kind of dual purpose. For one, it's a guard. I want to be protected, so there's a big heavy piece of plate. This is also a chute or a channel to be able to funnel all the yuckiness that's going to come off this grinder into a fancy bucket we'll be making later. And these are some lug nuts that uh, we turned on the lathe and a cool little washer that comes over here and grabs this Acme thread. And now what we can do is we can actually turn with a wrench. Where's my wrench? <clears throat> because this is at an angle, it's adjusting the in and out motion, real fine tune like, so I can really dial it in just a little bit at a time. And if for every reason, if I do want to change the attachment on top of this whole table, I have some height adjustment there too. So it's kind of dual purpose. We used the same flex spring that we used in the motor mount here. And you guys gotta check this out. I'm leaning on as hard as I can and there's barely any movement in there. It's amazing how strong that quarter inch plate really is. I decided on this inch spacing just because of how it feels, but this space can be changed. And what when you do is when you change this space between these two plates by moving the holes around, you're gonna be able to change how hard it is to flex. You can change the thickness of the spring to be thicker or thinner to be able to accommodate for your needs if you so choose, the length, can also change. Maybe you just want it to be a little tab. This is so customizable. This is a really simple design that you can build in your home shop uh, with simple tools. So let's put this plate on. There we go. So you see how our gap is quite a ways away. This isn't really adjusted where it's supposed to go, but we'll just use this for, for fun. We got it where we want. Now let's lock it down. Nice. All right. So you see how that flexor is twisted right now? Let's check this out. It's pretty easy to see that our table isn't squared to our plate. If this plate was where we want it, well, we're going to adjust it in toolless style here. You can see we're going to bam. That'd be a little too much. Just like that. There is no movement in this plate whatsoever. Super slick design. I'm gonna to have to use this on a lot more things because I, I really like the way this works. You're probably wondering why I chose this top plate for the working surface over something else. Well, it's because of this type of stuff. So if I wanted to grind a piece of material square, I could put these pins in here. Now I can grind square to the table. If I wanted to do a 45, I can grind a 45 in there pretty easily. And move the pins over. There's a 60 degree right there. Pretty slick. So what happens if we wanted a custom angle where I took some inspiration from a, oh, what is that called? Oh, a table saw. Yeah, we don't have a lot of table saws around here, but let's uh, put this in. There we go. Now it works just like a table saw. We're able to adjust this just like that at any angle we want and then clamp it down and grind in there too. I think that's pretty slick.
stay tuned for next time we get all the loose ends tied up and figured out. A lot of little projects we need to get done before we can run it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.